Good evening, we're going to be looking at um, what I would call angle chasing. And angle chasing when we have parallel lines or when we have polygons. Polygons meaning just shapes with straight lines. So like triangles, hexagons, pentagons, etc. Here are some facts that you should know. If I just draw these diagrams, I'm going to label the angles A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. So if we look at A and B, A plus B line are straight lines that are 180 degrees. A, B, G and H, well they lie on a point, and angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. B and D, we call these two angles corresponding. You may know them as F angles, but we say that B is equal to D because they are corresponding. At GCSE, you must use the correct terminology. In an exam, you would not get a mark for writing that they are F angles. A and G. Well, A is equal to G because they are vertically opposite. And uh, next, we have B and F. We can say that B and F are equal because they are alternate. You may know this as Z angles. So B and F are equal because they are alternate. Uh, the next one, which you may or may not remember, G and F. We can say that G and F add up to 180 degrees. Okay? We call these internal angles. So you might want to pause this video um, and have a look at if, and see if you can spot any other corresponding angles um, or alternate angles or vertically opposite angles, just so you get a feel for these angle facts. Okay, let's look at a typical question. Okay, I just label the uh, points. This time notice how I'm labeling the points and not the angles themselves. I've put points here, here and here. I've given you some angles and the angle we're going to be looking for is this angle here which we're going to call DAF, angle DAF. Now this notation confuses lots of students, but DAF refers to the points D to A to F. You start from D, oh let's go back there before I carry on. The question by the way is how many letters in the word puppy? Okay, so from D to A to F. So we can start from D and go to A. And then from A we go to F. And now notice how by going from D to A to F I've drawn an angle. That's what it means when we say the angle DAF. It can also be written as DAF with a little hat on the A referring to the fact that A is the middle one there. Okay, so to do this we need to um, start by looking at what we know. We could look at angle B, uh, DAB. Now DAB is that angle in red I've drawn. This is going to be the same as angle uh, ABC okay? because it is alternate to ABC. Now ABC, if I highlight it, is just this angle here. Okay, carrying on then. So we know that that angle in red is 42 degrees. We also know that angle CAB, which is this angle here, plus angle DAB, which we've just found, plus angle DAF, which is the angle we're ultimately trying to find, is 180 degrees, because they lie in a straight line. If I replace the um, letters here with the angles they are, so CAB is 100, DAB is 42, and DAF is the angle we're trying to find. So that means that DAF is going to be 180, take away 100, take away 42, that leaves us with 38 degrees. That's the answer to that question. Uh, sorry, let's just uh, go back a bit there. Okay, I'm going to draw the next question then, which is a star. Label the, uh, label the angles and put in the ones that you're given. Okay, the uh, question to answer on the multiple choice quiz is just write any three letter word um, beginning with the letter B. Okay, next. Uh, 
Um, so, if I go back one, this is the question. We're looking for the angle there, I, H, E. That's the angle I, H, E. If you start from I and go to H and go to E, that's the angle in green there. This blue angle we could work out, this is angle H, G, C. H, G, C is equal to 180 take away 100, because it lies on a straight line, which is 74. Okay. Now, if we look at that angle in purple, the angle in purple is C, H, G. Go from C to H to G, if you're not sure. And, well, that's a triangle with the other two angles. So it's 180 minus 74 minus 31, because you can see the triangle there with the blue angle and the yellow angle. When you do that calculation, you get 75. Um, I'll just write that as angles in a triangle. Now, I, H, A. I H E, sorry. We know that I H E is equal to C H G, the purple angle, because they are vertically opposite. So that's 75 degrees. Okay. Let's look at um, angles in polygons then. Let's look at some facts. So, uh, the question, by the way, is the first letter of your surname. So question three is the first letter of your surname. Angle facts for polygons. External angles in any polygon sum to 360 degrees. I've drawn a polygon here and we could look at the external angles. The external angles, well we could think about walking around a shape. So if I start from this point here and I walk to the corner. Now from the corner I will turn and I will now walk along this side. From this corner I will turn. Walking along this side I will turn, walk along this side, turn, walk along this side, turn, walk along the next side, turn one more time and walk back to where I started. Now, if you think about walking around any polygon, how far have you turned in total? Well, if you walk around a polygon or a shape, you will have turned in total 360 degrees. Now, if you think about that, that makes sense because I'm back to facing the way I started. In total, I've turned 360 degrees. That's the first angle fact. Next, in a regular polygon, all internal and external angles are the same. This makes sense since the um, shape is regular. Regular being a square, a regular pentagon, an equilateral triangle. Um, let's look at a regular pentagon. So in a regular pentagon, all the internal angles are the same. If we look at the external angles, there are five of them. So that's 360 degrees divided by 5, or 72 degrees. The internal angles, well, we know the external angle is 72 degrees, so the internal angle must be 108 degrees, or 180 take away 72. Okay, next. In any polygon, the internal angles add up to... Okay. They add up to this formula, n take away 2 times by 180, where n is the number of sides. So, for example, let's look at a, re let's look at a pentagon. Okay. In a pentagon, we have five sides. So if I put 5 into that formula above, I would get 5 minus 2 times by 180. This would be 3 times by 180, or 540. Now we can think about whether this makes sense, given our earlier pentagon we drew above. If you look at all the internal angles, there are 5 of them. Each one is 108 degrees, so that's 5 times 108. 5 times 108 is 540 degrees. So yes, the pentagon example at the bottom there works with our regular pentagon example that's been sketched. Just a little side note, um, the angles in 
polygons. If we look at triangles to start with, the internal angles add up to 180 degrees, we know that. In a quadrilateral, they add up to 360 degrees. And in a pentagon, they add up to 540 degrees. In a hexagon, 180 more, that's 720, etc. Okay, final example. So, I hope you're still watching. Please bear with me. We have this external angle, this external angle of a regular polygon. So we know from the previous page that all the external angles and all the internal angles will be exactly the same. So we're given that it's 15 degrees. The question is, find the number of sides and B, find the sum of the external angles. Okay, part A. We know that the external angles add up to 360 degrees. So we just do 360 degrees divided by 15. That will give us the number of sides, and in this instance it's 24. B, the sum of the internal angles. Well, from the previous page I know it's n minus 2 times 180. n is 24 because there are 24 sides. So this is 24 minus 2 times 180. The postcode you're looking for, by the way, is nw5. Uh, continuing this, 24 minus tw 2 is 22. 22 times 180 is 3,960 3, degrees. That is how many, the total of the internal angles in this regular 24-sided polygon. Thank you for watching.